Today I'm not reviewing uh, watercolor paint, but uh, I am reviewing this uh, beautiful book published by Tate Gallery in London. And the title of this wonderful book uh, of watercolor is How to Paint Like Turner. If you are passionate about Turner as much as I am, stay with me and watch the video until the end. I will uh, browse through the book with you and then I will paint a project from this book. Okay, this wonderful book is a, a book about Turner and uh, with some projects step by step to learn how to paint like Turner mainly a watercolor book because you know that Turner was also an oil painter but uh, he was also a um, painter that brought the revolution in watercolor and for a watercolor passionate like me he's absolutely a master so the contents are getting to know Turner so there is uh, about 20 pages about Turner and his uh, style as a an artist, watercolor artist. Turner's materials, because uh, watercolor at the time was very different from now. Let's browse what a master he is. So an introduction, a story, a biography of uh, Turner, then uh, training, his education as an artist. Turner as watercolorist, because for us, for me at least, this is the most important aspect of his art, is uh, watercolor. Turner as a teacher, and then material. Let's say that the uh, material was quite different at the time. You see, you had pigments that you could uh, dilute with water. And... Uh, you would uh, probably have not all the ease that we have today. The use of color, he really introduced the use of yellow that uh, was a revolution for the time being. And uh, I really like uh, his yellows, yellow skies. He was really obsessed by yellow. By the way, there is a color by Winsor & Newton and also Schmincke named Turner's yellow, but it's not about Turner, it's about a chemist named Turner that invented the yellow. How can you mix to create tonal ranges? And all the materials that he had. Kind of paper, this is all the material sketchbooks, and then getting started. Modern materials, what you will need as colors. Here's some recommendation and other material. Introduction to watercolor. Of course, this is not for complete beginners, but it's a good revision. Flat wash, variegated wash, all the things that are useful to emulate our master Turner. And then we can go to the most important part for me, which is learning from Turner. We have a chapter about sky. I have made these exercises, they're very well explained. And then other exercises on sky, water. Water was a very important element for Turner. Today we will be painting together is view of uh, San Giorgio Maggiore in Venice. So this is an exercise that I will do together with you today. And then you go on to other chapters, painting water, how he painted water, more water, fire, fire. I can't wait to try this exercise. Look at how beautiful fire was in turn on all the people here. He was really, um, almost an abstract painter in a way. So I'm so fascinated by his uh, paintings. Look at this 
fire at the grand storehouse of the tower of london this is really an abstract painting he was so ahead of time for his uh, epoch remember that this was painted in 1841 incredible it is really an abstract painting but it is so realistic at the same time and so stunning amazing more fire this is um, one more version and all the exercises to paint like him trees there is nothing left aside more trees i want to do them all i'm doing them one by one buildings it was a urban sketchup ante literam absolutely some exercises will be difficult people and animals this cat look at him pigs wonderful so natural so sketchy he's so contemporary swans mountains look at this yellow sky behind the mountains and the little people here i'm in love with this book i'm in love with this painter and uh, more mountains sunset and sunrises wonderful i can't wait to try this actually look at this sunset it's wonderful although the colors were very bold he was never over the top he was always so fascinating so elegant i found him so elegant because i don't like bold colors i don't like colors that are too flashy i like muted colors but this sunset is Okay, this is the exercise, but look at this. This sunset just um, takes my breath away. Or sunlight, moonlight, exercise about moonlight. Can't wait to do this. Look at this. Can't wait. And more moonlight. Nightscapes are wonderful. And this is the chronology so if you like turner you really can have a lot of fun with this i have already painted a few exercises and they're very well explained let's say that the objective of this book is not to ask you to to teach you how to copy turner but how to understand his process and integrate his process in your own style that's why this book is great it's just not just coping turner um that would make no sense but understand his process that's so interesting and uh, let's go to try venice okay so i We'll try this project today. So I will try this project with you today. It is a painting by Turner and it is a view of Venice. San Giorgio Maggiore, early morning. Suggested colors in this exercise are ultramarine, lemon yellow, cadmium orange, burnt sienna, cerulean blue, and ivory black. Um, I think I will make some changes because I'm not 100% persuaded of this lemon yellow. I think I will use some uh, yellow ochre or raw sienna instead, or at least mute the lemon yellow. I will either use the orange or the yellow ochre because it's not so cold this yellow and also maybe i'm not using ivory black but neutral tint i'll see i start by wetting the paper and i follow this step by step exercise
well, uh, my um, view of Venice uh, in the style of Turner is uh, finished and I hope you liked it. I hope Turner is uh, not uh, too uh, angry with me that I tried to paint uh, in his style and uh, that was quite quick, very well explained. I think that um, I will try all the projects in the books and um, this is the book that I mean. Lovely, lovely book. I recommend it to all watercolor passionate like me and uh, I hope you have liked my video. If you do so, don't hesitate to like and subscribe for my next video. That's all for now until the next uh, video and uh, a big uh, ciao from Italy, from uh, Elisabetta. Ciao.